Hi, this is A-plus Ashley with ATLHipHop.com, and I'm here at the A3C Music Festival with the Bodega Brothers. No Introduce yourselves, guys. Yo, I'm Headcrack. I'm Keynote. Yo, I'm Travi. Awesome. Well, it's great to have you here. I know you guys rocked yesterday. How was it like performing at A3C this year? Yo, this year was probably, like, one of the best years ever, and, like, every year we rock, we feel like it's the best year ever, and it just grows and gets bigger, man. We rocked with the legendary DJ Revolution at 529. The club was packed. The energy was right. The mood was tight, and uh, everybody definitely uh, showed love, man. It was dope. The, the energy and the connections you make with people and people like yourself, you know what I'm saying, and getting to connect with everybody and also to see other artists and great shows and connect with other artists and get in the lab and, you know, collaborate where everybody comes, you know what I'm saying, and gets down. So you all actually do make music like her because I know a lot of people talk about connecting, but less people hear I talk about actually making music while they're in the presence of other artists. Yeah, we, that's one of the major reasons to come out here is because it's a lot easier when all the artists are in the same place and you ain't got to deal with managers all the time and go through phone calls and emails, you know, and, and Facebook messages. It's a lot. Everybody's here or everybody who's trying to further their career is here. If they're not here, they're not trying to further their career. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a good thing to, you know, it's, a, it's, it's the best thing to do while you're here. Is the shows are great, but you got to network and you got to get in the studio, you know. It's kind of like Groupon for rap. <laughs> <laughs> Groupon for rap. Price, like, I know, love that. If, if it at all, like during <laughs> A3C. Yeah, 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 but it wasn't wanting what they want to get in. You know? A3C discount on clubs, though. Uh, pretty much. Like, yeah. um, you're already here. You bought us a pizza. Yeah, I'll do the verse. Yeah. <laughs> you know. oh, that's awesome. Now, I know you guys know today is Saturday. There's a lot of palpable excitement around. It's De La Soul Day here yes, at A3C. Tell me how De La Soul has impacted you, especially as you all being a group. Man, listen, like, De La Soul, like, laid down the blueprint for, like, having fun on record. If you go back to the earlier joints, like, Three Feet High and Rising, who was doing skits on an album like that before De La Soul was? Who, um, who was doing joints using, like, French, you know, language records played backwards? Who was doing that? De La Soul. And it is great to see, unlike a lot of other artists who continue to make music past their, like, you know, 10-year window that a lot of rappers get, they actually got better at with time. So it's dope to see the legends still here doing it, man. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, they really influenced my music, like especially Pasta News, you know, and, and, and watching them. When I, was a, when I was young, I was a, a weird kid, and I was, I was skateboarding and listening to hip-hop and everything, and that didn't necessarily go together, you know, back then. It wasn't like it is now. That's the norm. You know what I'm saying? I was just an odd kid who did hip-hop and whatnot. So they made me feel like, all right, word, I ain't alone, man. These cats is just like me, you know what I'm saying, as far as even their beliefs and everything. I was like, yo, these cats, I, I can, man, I really relate to these dudes. And plus their stage show, it's, man, it's bananas. Not only it translates from record to stage very well, and they, they continue to be dope. They never lack, you know what I'm saying. So I know you guys on stage are all like a ball of energy, just like you are here right now. I think you've infected the room with an, uh, the positive five tribe feel that I think they <laughs> kids are talking about now. How has De La influenced you all in terms of your stage show, keeping it active and really trying to engage with the crowd? That's pretty much what we, we molded it after, like just, I mean, not, I wouldn't say mold, I would say that's what we grew up on watching. So when we saw stuff like that growing up, that's, we wanted to take that to now because only cats that are really doing that now are them and other cats that they influence that are at the same level as them. The newer cats ain't really ain't really rocking the show like that. You know, they got 20 people on stage, one person with a mic. They rapping over their vocal tracks. You know, that to me that's that's lazy hip hop. And what they do is they don't bring lazy hip hop. So we learned from that and we tried to keep it keep it moving. We're not elevating it. We're we're keeping it going. You know, we're we're preserving it. You know what I'm saying? Like I say that they lost established. Awesome guys. Well. Tell us, I know it seems like you're always on tour, and I, before I ask you guys about your tour that you're about to kick off, I know a lot of artists that are maybe trying to get to where you are always wonder, how can they set up tours? What tips do you have for an artist who's trying to connect with people in other cities to establish a tour? Um, be prepared to lose and lose big sometimes. It's a gamble. Like, sometimes we set up our own tours. We go to cities where people don't even know anything about No Bodega. Hey, listen, who's performing tonight? Tell you what, we'll open up for them for free. Just let us rock these few dates. And the next time we go back, we go back to collect the money. Because if you got a good show, you're always going to be able to get back to the money. So we try to go out on the road, give people a memorable time. And so far, so good. It's been working for us because, like, we stay out there working and grinding. Okay. Yeah, the, the whole, the, whole um, the tour thing, We've always booked them on our own. We've never had a booking agent, you know, and we've done four European tours, um, a lot of American tours. And it's just like you have to it's 
there, there, there's a loss in it, but it's all about marketing your image. The first time we went, it was cool. The next time, it was bigger. The next time, it was bigger and bigger. And now, you know, it's getting up to where we want it to be, you know. Still a lot of work, but, like, out of every tour you try to book when nobody really knows who you are, like, you're, you're asking the question about how do they start it off. So the answer to that would be out of every tour you try, you're going to have to try at least five of them. You're going to have to keep booking them. You're going to get turned down. So you, you might have like four shows lined up, and then the tour ain't going to happen. It's going to get canceled or something. You just got to keep grinding. Out of every five you try to book, one of them is going to happen. You know, so just don't give up on those four that failed, and just keep, keep trying to book it and book it and book it, and then it's eventually you're going to get it. And then when you get it, it's going to be good. You know? say most importantly, as an artist, if you tour, be sure your merch game is on yeah. point. Not just CDs, because people don't really care about music as much anymore. They want, like, tangible clothing items, you know, hats. It's but, cool things. It's different. Know, Think outside sure the box. Think outside this box as much as possible, because that's what people are going to buy. They're not going to buy what everybody else is getting. They're going to have that unique thing, especially if, they're, if you're a group or somebody they connect with. They're going to want that thing they connect with. That T-shirt or that lighter or that yeah, decal or music something. Music is free. Your music is basically free. I mean, not for the artist, because you're paying for your studio time, you're paying for your production if you're doing it right. You know what I'm saying? You're paying for your mix downs, your mastering, you're pressing up your CDs, your art. So, like, you're going to have to give that away free, probably. So if you want to make money, you got to make it on the road, and you're going to kill. You're going to kill on the road. I mean, the, the levels, are, it's two, 300% profit. You know what I'm saying? So that's the best way. To, you ain't going to get that on your CD. You know what I mean? Oh, definitely. Well, that's some major game that I think you guys just shared with a lot of artists out there. Thank you. I think one thing that I've always wondered is how do you keep your energy level up? Because sometimes, you know, you see artists and it looks like the game is beating them as opposed to them being happy to be in the game. What's the secret to staying energetic year after year, dealing with all the internal politics and the, the difficulties of the music? How do you stay motivated to still go out and give your best and be energetic about it? I think when you love what you do, it's not work. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, like it's hip hop. We go on stage and make people have fun. We go and watch people perform and we have fun. So when that's the element and the base of it all, it's not a job. We also take a lot of vitamins and drink green tea. Yeah, run a lot. Run a lot of laps. I would say you have to remain a fan of music as well. If you just focus on yourself, you know, you're being selfish and you're selling yourself short. You have to remain a fan. Go out and see what the artists are doing. Because these young kids, a lot of them are doing it right. You know what I'm saying? The older you get, don't just say, hey, I've been doing this. I'm, a, uh, you know, I'm an OG. Look at these young cats, man, because they're going to keep you on that level. They're going to keep you to where they're going to keep you at, at what's hip and current. And watch their show. Learn. You know, don't just learn from your elders. Also learn from the new cats that are coming up because they got ideas too. Keep the love of the game in there. If you just worry about yourself and your crew, you're selling yourself short. You know what I mean? You got to be motivated all the time, you know, and take, always learning. Exactly, yes, yeah, for the culture, right? Well, awesome. Well, let me know what you all are working on, and I know you've got a tour kicking off as well, so help let the people know how they can find you and where they can listen to your new music. Best place to go at all times is bodegabrothers.com. That's B O D E G A B R O V A S. Uh, music on there, some you can buy, some things are for free. Be on the lookout for our upcoming album, Loaded Guns and Alcohol, LGA. And uh, the single, uh, Freshest Facade, is available on iTunes, Amazon, and all that good stuff right now. And most importantly, watch the video. Some people shoot videos and their homeboy shot it on their cell phone or with a, a, a Canon something, a low number that's before seven. Like you know, the, the camera. <laughs> And they edited, no shade. they edited it on Apple House Cat, like a really primitive version of an edit. No, we use the cameras they shot Lord of the Rings to shoot. Yeah. Not those exact Rich. cameras, but Rich. the brand. So, say, yeah. Yeah. It was the exact joints. yeah, so yeah, you definitely need to check out the Freshest Facade. Okay, and so we're kicking off. Um, we got, uh, we kick off, uh, we're rocking in Dallas, October 24th. Uh, the Legends of Hip Hop. Yeah, what, what the hell yeah. Is it called? Um, it's the Elements, Elements of Hip Hop. And, and also, um, we're working on another European tour right now that's going to kick off in the first quarter. So that's going to be, that's going to be dope. So people Philly, can we coming to see you uh, uh, November 17th. Excellent. Well, this uh, thank you so much, guys. You just infected the room with energy, as always, as I'm sure you'll do. Did it at your show. And this is A Plus Ashley with ATLHipHop.com signing off with the Bodega Brothers from A3C. Peace and love.